I was telling my uh, fiance that if anything I say was ever worthy of being memed, it was definitely that, okay? And this video is so funny. First of all, I don't even know <laughs> what the hell the girl is doing, but that's just hilarious. Hey, bitch, and welcome back to another Raleigh Reacts video. If you guys are new to these videos, these are basically videos of me reacting to horse abuse or animal abuse. It can really be about anything. All of these videos are submission based, so make sure to send your videos to raleighreacts at gmail.com right up there on the screen and in the description down below. One other thing before we get into this video, I do want to say that I post extra horse videos and training videos on my Patreon and YouTube members so anyone who wants to see content like that definitely head on over there and I appreciate all of you who do so. Now I know why you clicked on the video you guys we're just gonna go ahead and get to it. I made sure to not have any sponsors on this video. I, I definitely am saddened to my very core that this even has to be talked about or that I even have to speak about this again because as I've mentioned in my last video I don't like talking about kids. Again, it's never the child in any of these circumstances that is to blame. It's always the adults. And I make that abundantly clear in every single video where I have to speak or address problems like this. So obviously we're talking about the White family. Harlow, according to many sources, and I did end up seeing a few snippets and video clips, which I will show you, made a live, I believe, on her TikTok or Instagram, basically reacting or responding to my video. And to that, I just have to say I'm incredibly disappointed, even more so than I already have been in her parents because my video was specifically and only exclusively directed at her parents and her trainer. But I want to first say before we get into this that Harlow, if you're watching this video, please turn it off. This video is not addressed at you. It's for your parents. You're 11 years old. You're a child. I obviously don't hold anything against you. And I never have in any of my videos or, or reactions. Um, I encourage Harlow's parents to stay watching because I think that you guys are doing a tremendous amount of damage to your child. That's my personal opinion, but you know, to each his own. I mean, I guess you can't really expect much from a mom who's been repeatedly called out over the years for exploiting her children since the day that they were born. Harlow and her brother have basically had cameras in front of their faces their entire lives, and they've been repeatedly exploited since they were literally born. I, I don't even pretend to know what that's like to never have any privacy and have your entire childhood published to the internet by your parents. I don't know, she's made two videos about me, like, so far, and they're all, like, really, really nasty. And they're quite pathetic, to be honest, because, like, she's hating on me, and I'm, like, I'm 11, and she's probably about 29. Okay, so that's a snippet of what she said. Um, here's the thing, guys. Harlow's a child. She has a limited understanding of arguments and conversations and situations. And children lack cognitive and emotional awareness. They lack the ability to really have good insight into reasons why people might be discussing certain topics. Again, this is exactly why none of my videos are ever directed at children, because not only would that be insanely cruel and ridiculous to just dunk on a child, but also children don't know. They lack awareness. They don't understand things. It's the fault of the parent who's supposed to be the one raising the child. And not allowing children to do things that put themselves, put other people, or put animals at risk. It's not the fault of the child when the child's mom puts the child on a pony that she's very, very, very large for. Not to mention that I have not made multiple videos about Harlow 
exclusively. Those videos are my Raleigh Reacts videos, where her videos had been submitted multiple times by random people. I did not go out of my way to react to her. I'm not subscribed to her channel. I don't see her regular uploads. It's the same as day by day, which kind of leads me to believe that she didn't actually watch my video and it's just her mom that was telling her that I'm just bullying her and I'm being nasty, which I think is so insane for a parent to do and involve their child. I don't know if that's the case, but it definitely sounds like something that would come out of her mom's mouth. There's a huge difference between hating and bullying versus constructive criticism, okay? Giving somebody constructive criticism with actual veterinary data and medical studies proving why it's wrong for them to be riding a horse because they're visibly too big and they're causing actual physical damage and harm to a horse that's completely different from hating on somebody and bullying them. Not to mention that I've said every time I've mentioned Harlow, don't go give her hate. It's not her fault. It's her parents and her trainers, which is exactly what I did with Day by Day. I did not direct my video at the children. I directed my video at the parents because the parents were the ones who were at fault and the parents were the ones who were making bad decisions for their kids. And you know what? To be honest, Day by Day is actually better than Harlow's parents. Credit to Day by Day, they did not let their kids watch the videos that I made about them. So at least they were good enough parents to not involve their kids. Harlow's mom, Chelsea, Dude, I don't think you really understand the amount of damage that you're doing to your child by exploiting her on the internet. I mean, because that's what you're doing. You can't possibly sit there and say that you're not exploiting your kids when you've been taking photos of them and posting it on the internet to get brand deals since the day that they were born. And if your kid has open, unfiltered access to the internet and she's 11 years old and you're just going to sit there and say, well, she saw your video on YouTube because she has unfiltered access to the internet. Most of my videos are not made for kids. None of my videos are made for kids, actually. A lot of my videos are even age restricted. So if you allow your kid unfiltered access to watch anybody and everybody's videos on the internet, that's your problem. Obviously, I don't have anything to say to Harlow because she just doesn't understand the situation and I wouldn't expect her to understand the situation. But to that, I would say to Chelsea, her mom, this is why your kid should not be on the internet. Okay, this is why you should not be posting videos of your child and putting it on the internet. Imagine your parents sharing humiliating and vulnerable videos of you as a child that will stay on the internet for the rest of your life. Like, I would not be okay with that if I looked back on my childhood and every single moment was filmed by my mom and posted to the internet. That's just all my opinion. That's how I personally feel. And again, none of this is directed towards Harlow. If their daughter really was within the 20% range and she wasn't causing problems, they would have come out and said something by now and I would have maybe retracted what I said and been like, you know what, I'm sorry. But they know that she's too big. So what they're doing is they're just allowing their daughter to say that she's being bullied online. That's just such irresponsible parenting. But that's pretty much all I have to say to the White family. I think that it's really, really terrible that you guys exploit your kids online. That's my personal opinion, and it's not going to change. And I think that it's very inappropriate to be involving your child in adult matters when you could have just told your kid, hey, maybe we should move you up to a bigger horse. <laughs> No. Sir. Dude, you're fucking tall though, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. No. Sir. Dude, you're fucking tall though, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's so funny? I love it when people say that their horse is sassy or mean or bitchy or marish. I mean, that's literally what this caption says. It's so funny when I see people say that because my first response is no shit. You're, you're literally jumping on your horse and slamming your heels into their back. I mean, what kind of uncoordinated mess is this? And then you guys wonder why your horse is pinning its ears and not wanting you to get on and ride.
I mean, respect, dude. Very talented little girl. I see a lot of people are angry because she's riding a stallion. I mean, you guys, you know, I don't really care if parents are comfortable enough with putting their kids on stallions and their kids are good riders. As long as you accept the inherent risk that hey, maybe maybe something might happen, but you really have to accept that risk with any horse that's that big. Personally, I would try and keep little kids on appropriately sized horses for their size, just because I think it's easier for them to manage the horse if something were to go wrong and it's more comfortable for them to ride a horse where their legs actually reach the sides of the horse and the horse can feel them appropriately. But I get it. Some horses are just really well-mannered and well-behaved. So, I mean, if the parents feel like their child is a good enough rider, which it seems like she is, and that the horse is a calm enough horse, I don't really have a problem with the fact that this horse is a stallion. I mean, just because a horse is a stallion doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be mean or bad or aggressive, but it's definitely cute to see. And I think that's very impressive that a little girl is able to jump so high and have such a good seat. I mean, it's cute. I think it's cute when you see kids that really have a love for horses and really enjoy it. Your horse, which is your partner, you can't do anything without your horse. Your horse can kill you with his own body. It is the most... <laughs> your horse, which is your partner, you can't do anything without your horse. Your horse can kill you with his own body. Body. It is the most one of the most iconic <laughs> sound bites from my channel. Oh my god. A few years ago, somebody made this into a meme, this sound bite of me when I was like 13, I think. Oh man, more than a decade ago. That sound bite <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> I was telling my uh, fiance that. If anything I say was ever worthy of being memed, it was definitely that, okay? And this video is so funny. First of all, I don't even know what the hell the girl is doing, but that's just hilarious. I mean, she's literally sticking her head in the horse's ass. That is such an iconic soundbite from me, and I truly, truly love that somebody pulled that so everybody else can enjoy how hilarious those meme videos are on TikTok. Some of them are great. I mean, some of them, some people who have made videos to that soundbite are so funny. Like they deserve to be on SNL. That's how funny they are. Whew. Anyway, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope we ended it on a little bit of a positive note. Just a disclaimer again, nobody go give hate to Harlow. Obviously, anytime I ever make videos about anyone, especially involving children, it's never directed at kids. It's always directed at the parents or the trainers. And perhaps one day Harlow, when she becomes an adult, will watch my videos and agree with what I said. Maybe that might happen. You never know. And if, if Harlow ever becomes an adult and she reaches out to me and says, you know what, Raleigh, I think it's really weird that my mom videotaped me when I was a child. I'd really appreciate it if you would take those videos down of me because now I'm an adult. I'm out of the house. I don't want videos of me on the Internet from when I was a kid. I would be more than happy to do that. So just letting you know. Anyway, though, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.